On the morning of March 20th, five men entered the Tokyo subway system, each with bags of sarin. Each boarded a separate subway line, their trains all headed toward the Tsukiji station in central Tokyo. At virtually the same time, each attacker dropped his bags of sarin on the floor of the train and punctured them before exiting the train and station and leaving the scene in a waiting getaway car. As the liquid in the bag started to vaporize, the fumes began affecting the passengers. The trains continued on toward the center of the city, with sickened passengers leaving the cars at each station. The fumes were spread at each stop, either by emanating from the tainted cars themselves or through contact with liquid contaminating people's clothing and shoes. Many of the individuals who were overcome by exposure to sarin during the attack were those who came into contact with the agent while trying to assist those who already had been stricken. Among the victims were two subway employees who died attempting to dispose of punctured sarin bags at the Kasumigeski station. As authorities began their investigation into the attack, they quickly began making connections between this gassing and the earlier incidents, and suspicion quickly focused on Aum Shinrikyo. 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 A Japanese new religious movement founded in 1987 as Aum Shinrikyo by Matsumoto Chizuo is known to his followers as Master Asahara Shoko. Aum emerged out of Asahara's dissatisfaction with traditional Japanese Buddhism. Having found Tibetan and the Ravada Buddhist teachings more appealing than the dominant forms of Japanese Buddhism, Asahara attempted to create a Buddhism that emphasized non-Japanese themes. He espoused a spiritual path whose goal was the attainment of enlightenment in this life. It incorporated a variety of techniques, from yoga and meditation to psychic development exercises, to assist the followers' growth toward enlightenment. Progress was marked by three levels of initiation, and after attaining the third level, members could be admitted into the group's monastic community. Followers, who included many well-educated people, were taught to give total devotion to their guru. Former cult members have testified that they paid handsomely for rituals involving a Sahara's hair and bathwater, despite the group urging followers to reject materialism. One described paying more than $8,100 in 1988 for a blood initiation where he drank what was said to be the leader's blood. A Sahara also became interested in prophecy, studied the Christian Book of Revelation, and in the early 1990s predicted an array of disasters for Japan, including World War III. Because the Sahara expected Aum to replace the Japanese government in the chaos following the war, its organization mirrored that of the government. Two days after the incident, police mounted a massive raid on the Aum offices in Tokyo and its laboratory headquarters at Kamakuashiki in Yamanashi Prefecture, in the process of seizing numerous canisters of toxic chemicals used to manufacture sarin. Sarin is a human-made chemical warfare agent classified as a nerve agent. Nerve agents are the most toxic and rapidly acting of the known chemical warfare agents. They are similar to certain kinds of insecticides called organophosphates in terms of how they work and what kind of harmful effects they cause. However, nerve agents are much more potent than organophosphate pesticides. Sarin originally was developed in 1938 in Germany as a pesticide. Sarin is a clear, colorless, and tasteless liquid that has no odor in its pure form. However, sarin can evaporate into a vapor and spread into the environment. In May, Aum leader of Sahara Shoko and more than a dozen other cult leaders were arrested in nationwide raids. Although a Sahara denied that his sect had been involved in the gas attacks, several of his followers later admitted that Aum members had participated in the Tokyo and Matsumoto incidents and implicated the sect in the 1989 killing of the lawyer and his family. It was also revealed that Aum had attempted the failed attack of March 15th and was involved in a string of murders of members or those thought to be enemies of the cult. Eventually, about 200 members of the leadership and rank and file were arrested and scores were convicted of the gassings and other violent acts. The trials of Aum members continued into the early 21st century, with 13 people receiving death sentences. In 2004, after an eight-year trial, 
a Sahara was convicted of a series of crimes and was one of those sentenced to death. His appeal of the conviction and sentence was denied in 2006. A Sahara and six other senior members of Alm were executed on July 6, 2018. Three Alm members wanted in connection with the cult's crimes remain fugitives for more than a decade and a half. The first, Harada Makoto, surrendered to Tokyo police at the end of 2011. Kikuchi Nayako, the second of the three, was arrested in early June 2012 in Sagamahara, Kanagawa Prefecture. Less than two weeks later, the third fugitive, Takahashi Katsuya, was apprehended in Tokyo. Takahashi was the most wanted of the trio, as he had been a Sahara's bodyguard and was suspected of having driven one of the getaway cars in the subway attack. He received a life sentence for his role in the crime. In the months after the March 1995 attack, the group made several failed attempts to release hydrogen cyanide in various stations. The group went underground after the Tokyo attack, but did not disappear, eventually renaming itself Aleph. Did Aum operate outside Japan? Well, the group operated in former Soviet states after the collapse of the USSR. In March 2016, Montenegro expelled 58 foreigners suspected of association with Aum Shinrikyo. They were gathered at a hotel they had rented in the former Yugoslav region. Four were from Japan, the Interior Ministry said, but 43 were from Russia, seven from Belarus, three from Ukraine, and one from Uzbekistan. Russian raids in April 2016 targeted 25 properties. The group is illegal in Russia, but prosecutors said at the time it may have up to 30,000 Russian followers. A few human rights advocates in Japan have defended Aum cultists, who have not been found guilty of crimes, saying they were unaware of plans to attack the Tokyo subway. But members have little prospect of social or official acceptance, despite attempts to distance themselves from the events of more than two decades ago. Aum Shinrikyo was a religious cult or a terrorist group hiding behind religion to gain power. What do you think? Tell us in the comment box. And make sure you have liked the video and subscribed to the channel.